Hi water signs, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for singles. So this is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio singles. All right. This is for this next seven days ahead. Whatever's happening, it may or may not be. I mean, this is about love, but doesn't mean always that love is going to come flying into your life. So we're going to see what's going on here. Singles, water signs. One card, an overall energy. An overall energy. Hope! Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, I believe that Pisces just got this. They did. It's a time of hope. It's a time of healing. This is the star card. This is healing. It's a time of healing, it's a time of hope, and it's a time of inspiration. It's a time of rebirth. That's what's going on this week. You're shining bright. You should be... It's almost like you're glowing. You're a star. You're the star of the show. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, week ahead. Singles. This is for singles. This is wish fulfillment. So... You are sending out some sort of wish, and it's being sent up, okay? It's being sent up to heaven, so just keep that in mind. Whatever you're wishing for is manifesting. It really is. But you may think that it's not manifesting, so let me clear this one up. Remember, what, I just, what did I just say? Whatever you think is manifesting. So if you think negative, if you think bad thoughts, that's what's manifesting. There's some regrets. There's some regrets here. Grieving. Grieving. A loss. There's still hope. Believe it. You may feel like it's a no. You may feel like it's a no-go. You may feel like you've made some really bad, poor decisions and you regret them. But this is communication and teamwork could lead to some sort of reunion. This is a reunion. You guys may be hoping for a reunion. But things are a little out of whack. Things have been turned upside down because of lies and manipulation. There's still hope, though. There's still hope for happiness. There's still a reason to celebrate. But... Compromise, communication, and teamwork is needed. Whoo! Two of cups. Love. But you may feel like there's no hope.
You have to make a choice. Twos are about choices. Two, two, two. Twos are about choices, change, faith, and trust. So you've got to have faith and trust that when you make changes, you know, when you make changes and you stop, this is a game player, stop up, you stop playing games, a partnership will work out. Now, I'm not saying that you guys are playing games, but this is magic tricks. And this is games, tricks and games. This is communicate, communicate the truth. Lack of courage though, somebody has lack of courage and they may have wasted a whole lot of time. Jeez, oh girl. So yeah, it looks like somebody has wasted, wasted some time. And they probably regret wasting some time. It's unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. Somebody is dissatisfied with the decisions that they have made. And they're regretting the decisions that they have made. And it looks like they're wanting a reunion, but there's no, there's too much fear of communicating. But you are at this crossroads where you have this choice to make as to whether you want to take the power in your own hands, whether you want to do something about it, whether you want to take action or not. Right now, you are in the process of thinking about somebody that you probably want to take action, but you don't dare to. There's also a choice between two. There is a choice between two with all these twos. But communication is needed. Now you may receive some communication from somebody that wants to work with you, that wants to, you know, collaborate or communicate or whatever. Somebody wants to work with you. Somebody does. Somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to communicate with you and you probably want to communicate with them. Communication is desirable here. But there's a lot of regrets okay there is wasted time twice some and somebody has wasted a lot of time perhaps on a third party situation we have these threes and now that it's like your ship has sailed out of sight it's no longer it's barely in sight and it's like your world, something has been turned upside down. I feel like you, there's some regrets over perhaps a third party investing your time and energy in another person, a third party situation, whatever. Or somebody else did. Either it's you or the other persons. There's somebody invested their time and energy in another person. And now there's sadness, there's grieving, and there's regrets. I think somebody has already moved on. And now you need to take action and you're thinking about taking action. You may take action. This is at now. Take action right now. Action, action, action. Lights, camera, action. In regards to happiness. There's been some unfair treatment here. There has. There's been some manipulation. There's been some lies. There's been some bullying. And now somebody has risen back up and refound their abundance. And they're doing quite well after being bullied. Prime candidate for a relationship. You got a prime candidate for a relationship here. So somebody is coming in. Somebody is coming in quickly. They are. They see the abundance. They see the worth of this woman. They see how 
abundant, how stable, how secure, how beautiful she is. They see how nurturing she is. She has the ability to grow anything. She's ready. She's ready. She is ready. Somebody's coming in. They see that. Somebody sees that this woman is ready. And if they don't make a choice, somebody you have to make a choice. Somebody is going to make a choice, okay? Somebody's going to choose this woman, whoever it is. So communication is going to come in to this single woman who has her shit together. There's a choice between two, like I said, there is. There's a choice between two, two people here. One person is from the past, one person is the present. And you're being faced with making that decision about the truth, how you truly, truly, truly feel. I think that you have received some sort of epiphany. This is a wake-up call that says action needs to be taken. Is somebody heading into their lives? Is somebody heading into their lives? Or is this a past person? What should they choose? They're single. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't even, I don't even. It's the same person. This is a solid, stable opportunity. Somebody is ready. They're completely ready. They're stable. They're abundant. And somebody sees their worth, there's no doubt. Somebody is charging in to get this woman. They're coming to get her. Not even going to think about it. I'm going to get her. They're coming out of the darkness. Coming out of this disappointing time. It's over. The worst is over. Standing up. He's looking. This guy is looking at this woman. Somebody ha is ready to take them swords out of their back and stand up for this woman. So I feel as though there's going to be some communication, whether you're making it or somebody's making it towards you. Wanting to revive something. after taking a break. This is somebody that you already know. And I know that you guys don't want to hear this. Damn it. Is it somebody new? Is it somebody new? Is it somebody new? Is it somebody new? No, it's an opportunity that you've already lost. It's somebody it's it's an it's somebody that you've already lost and it's an opportunity to get it back. That's why there's still hope. So this is somebody that you already know. It's an, it's an opportunity that has already been lost, and there's an opportunity to get it back. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, <laughs> well, it looks as though you may not be prepared for this. You, I mean, you may not be prepared. This is sudden, a sudden change in events, a sudden desire to get something to stand up and get something so it's like there's a sudden shift what the hell is this to give up that warrior mentality to stop fighting 
So is this a reconciliation with somebody from the past? It's not a new opportunity because this would be upright. If it was brand new, it would be upright. It's not brand new. It's somebody that you know. I already got the answer. So that's what they just said. It's, it's not somebody new. Damn it. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you may be wanting a reunion with somebody from your past. And there is hope that it could work out. There's, 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 there is. There is. There is. You're the star of the show. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. There's an opportunity to get exactly what you want. But you're going to have to give up something because this is giving up the fight, the warrior mentality. And communication is key. And you might have to give up a third, another person because it's pointing at these threes. We got this three, this three, and this three. You may have to give up another person. And when a third party situation could be a family member, it could be. It could be a friend. It could be a, another partner. Somebody is in the way of this connection. And you got to make a choice between two. So you are going to be presented with an option, an opportunity to perhaps, whatever, reunite or be with somebody if you can realize that there's still an opportunity for love here. There's still an opportunity for love. So I don't know what this is, but, or the other person needs to realize, whether it's you or the other person, somebody needs to realize that there's still an opportunity for love. And I don't know who this reading is for. I absolutely positively do not. But there's an opportunity for love, I think, with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what it looks like to me. Or it could be uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. Anyway, there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. If communication is had, communication is key. It really is. Truth in communication. And taking that power in your own hands. So yeah, I feel like there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with somebody that is really stable and secure, solid, and absolutely ready. This is another single person who is ready for love. And if you don't take it, somebody else is going to fly in and take it because it's such a golden opportunity. You have to make your decision. You may not be prepared. You may not be prepared right now. You may be, you may not think that this is realistic. You may be feeling like this is unrealistic. I'll never, I'll never get this love back or I'll never get this love again and whatever. Um... But it's time to, like, a, drop something. Like, the fight. Stop. The, drop the fight. Drop the fight. This is a family feud. Or a feud. You need to let go of the feud. You need to let go of something that is too unstable. Instability. Insecurity. It's your own insecurities. It is your own insecurities. S there's an opportunity to give somebody another chance. I don't know who this is. I really don't. Um, anyhow, I feel like there's an oppor there's there's hope for a reconciliation. <laughs> is it new love? I asked, and the answer was no. And that's the truth. You guys are focused on somebody that you are still grieving over. And I've got one lady who swears up and down that, she, you know, and then don't watch me. Not every reading is going to resonate with you. A decision is needed here. 
a choice between two paths. There is hope for wish fulfillment. But accepting the truth and communicating is key. It is what it is, and that's what I have. That's what I have, water signs. Is it new love? I got the answer of no. Good luck.